Okay, so we've, we're going to try to capture the ISS on video on the T2i. So I decided I, I'd blog about this with my assistant. Hi. Goofy. Goofy. So we're watching it in real time, and it's getting close. Still moving. It's out of the Pacific Ocean right now, and we've got about 11 minutes. 11 minutes? Yep. Really? <laughs> so, up here, the T2i is ready to go. I'm Pointed at the horizon, and I'll probably have to move it several times, so I'm probably going to have to be up there when it, when it goes off. Okay. Okay, here's the setup. This is the T2i. It's ready to go. Pointed off that direction. That's where we should see it. And we have seven minutes. It's approaching the coast of Mexico now. And we'll see it in a few minutes. I've got a slight communication failure. See, every time I ask my son a, a question, the dogs start barking from next door. Of course, these are the same dogs that bark all night long. Three barks every 20 seconds. But anyway, we've, we're about uh, three minutes out, and I just changed the settings on the T2i to uh, full open, so we'll see how that works. Okay, we're about a minute out, and I'm going to go ahead and roll in the T2i, and it should be good from there. So... Magic Lantern load, it turned itself off. And rolling. And we wait. That's where it'll be. Somewhere over there. It's supposed to be 8.38. Our time. Luckily the dogs have quieted down. Maybe if I speak softer, they'll be quiet. 38, and sometime during this minute, maybe behind those trees. It's supposed to start at 16 degrees. Be 39 now. Not yet. How about that? We couldn't see it. Right up, right up above, guys. Okay, well it didn't become visible until it was almost overhead, so we were kind of looking in the wrong direction. Uh, that happens sometimes. It just depends on what the, what the angle is that it comes up at. 
we got some good video and I got a couple of nice shots with the uh, with the XSI so we'll go in evaluate and see what we got